see how it would go. And even when you are not here, this feeling is still there in me. So, there is no immediate need to ensure the fulfillment. So, let's place this feeling. So, that is what will happen. So, except in that particular case of husband and wife, there it is related to this issue of progeny also. So, except for the relationship with the wife or the husband, right, in all other relationships, in that relationship also you have this feeling, right? But it has a particular, you know, responsibility. But in all feelings you will have this and you will ensure the fulfillment of this feeling as and when the other person is in contact with you, either in the family or in the workplace or anywhere else. So that is what would happen. So if you come to the attention this workshop, it's fine. If you don't come, it is fine. If you come to attend and leave the workshop, it is fine. And after you come back, it is fine. My only concern is that if you come after two days, you may not be able to follow it. So, that's the only concern. Because everything is so connected to each other. That is it. Means one session. No, it will be very difficult for you to get along with the second session. And what you will do is you try to fill up something you know, from your side and it may not fit. So that's the way I will look at it. But then, you know, it is better to put this story in the context of you know, your own self or, you know, with your relationship with the other. Then it will make it more clear. Okay. <coughs> In fact, you know, if you, uh, as we go along, we see, as we understand the feeling, it is just there. You know? And if you see this, you will realize that the children, they anyway start with this feeling. It is we who try to differentiate, right, and create this precondition in him, in him, to differentiate. For example, your child will treat other you know, child in a similar manner, whether it is your friend's child or your mate, you know, child. You try to teach him to differentiate that play with this child because he is my friend's child. Don't play with this child because it is the mate's child. But the child will start with the same, you know, kind of feeling for both the children. You will see that these are the feelings which you can understand are there in you. And the children are already you know, starting with this feeling. You try to give you know, kind of obstacle to them this feeling in this time. If you understand this feeling, this feeling are there. If you have this feeling, you will also see that expressing this feeling right, does not require any physical feeling, except for the feeling of care. So if I have a feeling of respect, I can express this feeling of respect to you. It does not require any physical feeling or any grand occasion to do this expression. What is this grand occasion to perform? Is it necessary to <coughs> Communicate the feeling of respect. <coughs> Not really. I said most of the time what we are doing is that we have grand attention. We express the feeling of respect, which is not there. <coughs> so you feel forced to arrange the grand attention. We are arranging the grand attention. The purpose is to convey the feeling of respect. And that feeling of respect is not there. Right? Fine. So, <coughs> look at this trust and intention. This is the foundation. And if this foundation is shaking, right, then everything is fast breaking down. So, when you see, I was just mentioning all this example. That if you come to the class right, and 
میرم در آقا نیزه این کنم بیدیم شدن در نیزه این کنم این کنم این کنم And then you laugh, why are you smiling? <laughs> <laughs> and if they should ask you, what shall I do otherwise? <laughs> it will really put you off. <clears throat> On the other hand, if you have just an intention, and you find that these people are smiling, the children are smiling in the class, you'll be happy. But everybody is smiling. They are welcoming you. <coughs> This is very fundamental. And we are not looking to it. Because we have not made, because, and therefore we have not been able to make sure of this. <coughs> and we don't need anything else other than the understanding. <coughs> If you understand that your natural acceptance is to be happy and make others happy. Then you can also see that the other Also like this, you know. So his natural acceptance is also to be happy and make a better. This includes me. So. That is all that has to be verified. And I keep telling that you don't even have to verify 3A and 4A. You just have to verify 1A and 2A. If you verify 1A and 2A for yourself, 3A and 4A is the reflection of it. That is all that you have to do. And if you do that much of work, right, and if you have the understanding <coughs> that the other wants to make himself happy and make you happy, that's all that you require. Okay. If you have this clarity, then you will have this trust and intention of yours. So simple. But it's so implicated. There's a whole lot of implications. in your relationship. It is the very foundation of your relationship. So if you can see this, you have to feeling of trust and intention of everybody. If that trust and intention is there, you feel related to everyone. You feel that you are related to everyone. Everyone is related to you. With that foundation of relationship, now you are trying to evaluate your competence and evaluate the competence of the other. And when it comes to making the program, you will evaluate your competence and you will evaluate the competence of the other and then make the program. different level of competence, the other person may have different level of competence. But yes, this will be a reflection of this in the sense that if I am not able to make myself happy because of the lack of competence, then the other is also not able to make himself happy due to the lack of competence. Similarly, if I am not able to make myself happy due to lack of my competence, similarly the other is also not able to make himself make me happy due to the lack of competence. But what is happening when I am not able to make the other happy due to my lack of competence? I keep justifying it. You know, see, after all, I wanted to do good to you and you know, for one reason, you are not happy. But when the other is not able to do it, I don't, you know, take it that it is lack of his competence. I immediately interpret saying that it is 
good intention. He, had, he wanted to hurt me. So in that sense, yes. One, two days, two before we got Huh? Oh yes, your empathy and this empathy also has to do with your competence. Because if I am able to see my relationship with you, right, then I will have the empathy. If I am not able to see the relationship with you, right, then I will not have the empathy or sympathy. Rather, I will have this feeling of opposition. That is the pathological state of mind. We will have the antipathy. So if I see that I am related to you, I will have empathy. I will also have sympathy, not only sympathy. This is a case study. And uh, this has been over this whole day, this study. Uh, I guess it's uh, related to intention and the confidence in them. Uh, if somebody approaches you, excuse from this workshop and uh, me as a coordinator. How can I how can I make a decision on this? I know their intentions are clear. Yes uh, yes uh, I realize that am I confident enough to give a give a or let them understand they are developing and then as uh offer several times what they say, not only for this culture, in other situations also, in a discussion, maybe in a group, or, or even in, at the other activity level. So, intention level, we never doubt. I realize that it's not worth talking also. But uh, on the other hand, many a times I suffer from whether am I being competent enough to uh, let them understand what they are doing. So, you can highlight some of the examples that we have to be in the middle of the See, this problem of competence could be there on the part of the other people and it could be there on part of my self. Right. So once I have this trust on intention, then at least it is there. Right? And this provides the basis of relationship. If this is the basis of relationship, I will make evaluation of my competence and the competence of the other. So there is some possibility of not being able to get this competence properly. Either my own competence or the competence of the other. That is where the whole problem would lie. So, I personally would keep myself open to keep on evaluating my competence and keep on evaluating the competence of the other. So, even if I have made an evaluation of my competence and the competence of the other, and therefore I am defining a program with him, right? By doing that and going ahead with the program, I will continue you know, to keep myself open for this evaluation. That is one thing. Second, in the meantime, when this program is going on, okay, what do I do? Because there is a possibility of some evaluation of the computer which is not correct. Okay. This evaluation is not correct. Then what do I do? I am saying I will continue with the program, keeping myself open. So in the meantime I get some feedback, right, which helps me to better evaluate the competence. Then I will do it. And then I will modify the program. 
So it's a dead this is an example, you know, people sitting here for the workshop. Right? Now, when somebody is sitting for this workshop, there are many issues. Right? One is that they are not used to sitting like this for a long time, right? Particularly sitting on the ground. It's both their legs, right? That may be a big problem, right? For many people. Okay? So we should keep that in mind. Then there are many people who have, you know, almost come to believe that they know any, everything. So they don't need any such thing, you know. That may be another reason. Then there may be a reason that when this kind of process is started, a lot of, you know, kind of insight, questioning starts, what Umeshi was telling. Now, the other person is so upset about it, so much of, you know, kind of uh, questioning is going on and, and many of these you know, proposals which have been put forward, it starts raising very serious questions about your self, you know, and what you have been doing, particularly for the old people, it is pretty difficult. Like they start thinking that this is correct, then what have I done for 70 years? <laughs> now, what will happen to that? But the young people, it is relatively easier because they have you know, long time to kind of go. So all these issues may, might you know, come up. Somebody may you know, have some uh, kind of work you know, which are of importance and therefore they cannot devote seven days here. So all those things, those possibilities are there. So with that in mind, okay, you have to make this evaluation. That if somebody is seeking for an excuse, right, what is the cause? And then how can you give him the comfort? Right? How can you help him you know, to go through the workshop or if there is some important work outside, you know, relieve him from it. So all those considerations, and there can be many more such considerations as just uh, exemplified a few. So if you keep that in mind, okay, then as I said, that if somebody is smiling in the class, okay, if I have doubt on intention, I start getting hurt about it. On the other hand, if I already have this trust on intention, then I can rightly try to interpret that rightly, you know, correctly. And, you know, do something, you know, to facilitate him. So, for example, when I am conducting the workshop, if 100 people are sitting there, at least some 30, 40 people will start with a very half heart. And they will be, you know, turning their posters from this side to that side, you know. Then, you know, doing something else and then attending to the mobile and, you know, writing some tips here and there. And all kind of things happen. But next day the percentage is less. The third day is still less. By fourth day, almost all the hundred people will start paying attention. Now, when all this is happening the first day, I, I can see that these are the possible reasons. Right? And I would like to help them, facilitate them, within the class or outside the class. And that is how they become comfortable. And somebody has a real you know, trouble, then we do do something about it. For example, many of the workshops I have, we found that some people have physical problems and they cannot sit you know, on the ground. So we provide care for them. And we may even provide sofa for them. And if they can't you know, sit down and listen, we can allow them to lie down. <laughs> so many of our workshops, you know, there will be people lying down and listening. <laughs> so that's not a problem. As long as you are listening and you know this process, <laughs> exploration has started. Okay? We will certainly, you know, allow you to lie down. And <laughs> so all that, you know, we have to kind of make it. You know, evaluation of your competence and their competence. In fact, many people, for example, this place is much different. 
These are the nine feelings in relation to the It has mutually acceptable to each one of us. So these feelings are there in me. It leads to my happiness and the happiness of others. So now we are trying to unfold and trying to understand each of these feelings. So what we have done is we have defined this feeling of the